A lot of people have asked me how I do my video editing. So I do it on the MacBook Pro, which is just a 13 inch MacBook Pro, and I specifically bought this for mobile video editing. I was having a really hard time with video editing with the PC, especially once we went to HD video. So I just said, screw it, I'll just get a MacBook because that's what it's made for. So the program that comes pre-installed on a MacBook is called iMovie, and it is absolutely fabulous. Like I said, it comes pre-installed, and what happens is I just plug my camera in via USB cable, which is here, and then I simply click this button right here. It's just a simple button, and it imports the movies automatically. So there's no converting of the file formats or anything like that. It's super simple. As you can see, I've already imported some video here, so I'm just going to walk through real quick how simple it is to edit on a Mac. So what I have here is a little over four minutes of video that I shot the other day. And I make lots of mistakes. One of the things I've learned about making videos through the video editing itself is to pause a lot. So if I make a mistake when I'm doing a video or if I know I want to do a transition between segments, then I go ahead and pause between statements. And that gives me a little room to do some editing or add some transitions. This particular video, by the way, is about having a bucket list. And you can find my videos on lynnterry.tv or on youtube.com slash lynnterry. Basically what I do to start is I find my starting point in the video and crop down to that starting point and then I add an opening transition. I'll show you how simple that is. So I found my starting point here and I can crop out everything prior to that just by clicking and dragging and selecting that section all the way to the beginning there and then I just double click which is a two finger click on the mouse pad and go down to delete selection so that's it so you can hit the space bar to actually play the video and it'll show a preview here in this window that question came from John and interestingly enough I just started watching an idiot abroad which came on so basically I'm just going to delete out the section here where I was goofing off in the beginning and add a transition now over here I have several options which you may or may not be able to see and it's add music, add photos, add text, add transitions. So I'll open up the transitions window here and you can see that it opens in a little section and I have cross dissolve, cross blur, cross zoom, ripple, etc. I think what I'll do is just spin it in with a doorway. A little transition kind of just adds a little fun to the video, makes it more fun to watch, breaks it up a little bit. You can also edit how long the transition is which I like. So we'll test it out before I do that. It's okay. I have a little pause there, so I'm going to take that out. Just again, just right click and delete section. So I got another great question, and the question is, do you have a bucket list? Interestingly enough, so you can see that I mess up in my videos all the time, which I don't stress about. I can't actually shoot them perfect, so I just try to pause when I make a mistake and then I can edit it out. So I'll take that there and I'll just grab the part I want to edit out. And edit that straight out. So that's about it. And then I get to the end of the video, of course, and I go over here to the text option. And I always add this little piece, which you're familiar with at the end of my videos here and it allows me, I choose this color here, the blue, and it allows me to put the piece of text on the end of my videos that says lynnterry.tv. A little branding. So that's basically it. And once I add all the transitions and I put the text at the end of it, then I simply share it to my hard drive. Now straight from iMovie you can publish directly to YouTube, but I don't choose to do that because a lot of times I'm not ready to put it online. Sometimes I actually shoot all of my videos in one day and then I save them to my hard drive and I upload them when I'm ready to have them published. So you can publish straight to YouTube from iMovie, but I don't. So I simply go to the Share option up here and Export Movie. And when you do that, you have the option to save it anywhere on your hard drive. And, of course, you have the option to save it in different formats. I always choose HD and export it with a certain title to my desktop. That way, when I'm ready to upload it to YouTube, I can simply do that straight from my desktop. And that's really it. I mean, it's really super simple. iMovie makes video editing easy enough that a kid could do it, literally. Well, and you know, kids these days could probably do everything better than we can. But iMovie is fabulous. A lot of people really struggle with video editing and really struggle with all of the complications of converting the videos to different formats and all the different processes or what have you. But this really is as simple as click and drag, 
you know, cut, delete, add, boom, boom, boom. It's just really kind of a drag and drop program. iMovie, like I said, comes pre-installed on the MacBook. And I just got so frustrated trying to edit HD video on a PC that this was the direction that I decided to go. You'll notice it's a very small machine, so it's just a 13 inch. And the reason that I did that is number one, because I have this iOmega hard drive here where I export things, so I didn't really need tons of hard drive space. What I really needed was mobility. This thing fits in my shoulder bag, which is very easy to travel with and take with me when I'm flying or when I'm traveling, and just to use mobile when I'm at conferences and things like that. It's not heavy to tote around. Anyway, absolutely love my MacBook specifically for the iMovie program, and this is what I use to edit all of my videos for lynnterry.tv.